Head over to MiniatureMarket.com where they have thousands of board games at discounted prices like Break the Code. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today there's going to be numbers and colors and there's going to be to be a code that we're going to be trying to break. Today we're talking about Break the Code. This is a deduction game for two to four players from Yellow. Let me show you how it works. I'll see you on the other side. Break the Code is a deduction game for two to four players, where each player is going to have their own shield, a sheet, and they're each going to get a certain amount of numbers depending on the amount of players. No one else can see these because we have a shield here. We put them in order from left to right, and those are our numbers. The numbers are either going to be white, black, or green, and they're going to range from zero to nine. When it's your turn, you're going to select one of the six cards, and you're essentially going to ask the other players this. Now, if it's two players, you just ask them. If it's three players, you ask the others. And if it's four players, you ask them, but you also get to answer because it gives people information. For example, is your C tile greater than four? Because under your shield, you're putting them all in order A, B, C, D. Or what's the sum of your three leftmost tiles? Or how many even tiles do you have? Or how many of your tiles have a white number? What are your number zero? Or where are your number zero tiles? Or where are your number six or seven tiles? You would select one of those two things. So once you do that, you just discard this and a new card will come in. It'll be the next player's turn. And as you learn things, you'll be essentially making notes of where you think A, B, C, D, and E, what those are for the other possible players. Now you'll use certain rows of this depending, you know, if you're two player, you'll just use this row. If it's three players or four, you know, you'll use these two. And it actually shows you all the different combinations of numbers, zero through nine black, zero through nine white, and the fives are always green. And so you're trying to figure out A, B, C, D, E, and which color, black, you know, green or white. Same thing here, you're making sort of notes as you find things, and you're putting the numbers that you think are there, what's not, or making, making notes, circling the color you think it is, and things like that. That's pretty much it. On your turn, instead of asking a question, you can say you're gonna solve it, you'd look at these secretly, and then you'd say if you're correct or not. If so, you make sure everybody has the equal amount of turns. If you're wrong, you're out of the game, but you have to answer questions for others. It is possible for everyone to lose if everyone gets it wrong. Now in a four player game, you're going to look for four. In a three player game, you'll be getting five of them out here. In a two player game, you're trying to figure out the other player's code behind their wall. All right, this game has a lot going for it. It is a small game. I would say this is sort of a filler deduction game that fills a niche that I don't even have. Now deduction games are some of my favorite ones in the entire gaming industry. And I can't think of another game that is pure deduction like this, that plays in about 15 minutes, but is as brain burnery. So this really fits a niche for me that I don't have, and even with all the games that I've had and all the ones that I've played. This essentially is deduction stripped down to its bare minimum, which I think is a good thing because it just keeps the nuts and bolts of deduction, keeps the you know the thought process going through that you normally do, trying to associate things with other things or rule things out and make hunches and things like that. It's all really there in such a quick, tight game. This game feels like a much bigger game than it is. When you're done with this 15 to 20 minute game, you're gonna think, you're gonna feel like you've played a 45 minute game and that's not in a bad way. That's like, wow, that was, that was only 15 minutes. I was thinking hard the entire time and I like that this game feels bigger than it is. I also like that you get to choose the question, like sort of like, you know, older game like Code 777 or even Sleuth, where you have multiple choices of questions, but you get to decide the one to ask. I like that because it gives you the flexibility, but it also adds some randomness to it as well, so that if you're not the best deduction player, you still have a chance to beat people that are better than you at this, at this type of game. I like that you're learning things on other players' turns, you're trying to figure things out, but every turn there's no downtime, you're learning things and thinking. Uh, and it definitely feels different at each player count. Two, it's just one against one, which a lot of games don't play well with two, this one does, because you're trying to just figure out what the other player has. Uh, and then with three and four, you're trying to figure out the middle code, but there's a different amount of tiles there. And in the four player game, you have to basically announce the answer to the question that you chose. So it's another little twist of strategy as to, ooh, I really want to know this, and I want to know this, but I don't want them to know that, so I'll pick this one. So it's pretty cool. Uh, on the negative side of things, like most deduction games, if someone gives you a wrong answer, it can essentially ruin the game for others. Uh, and sometimes, you know, there's some questions like, hey, what are your groups of consecutive numbers? Well, someone might say my one, two, three is, it, you know, uh, or my ABC is consecutive, but they might forget that D and E is also consecutive, that they need to say that 
as well. And there's a few of those questions where if they have more than one of these, they'd need to say it, but they might not because they just don't know to. You might not remind them to. So this game's a little fragile in that regard, so that's a negative for me there. But again, because this is such a great deduction game and because it fits that quick filler niche, which is, again, like I don't have, this is staying in my gaming library and it's getting a saxophone serenade to do so. So let's hit it. <laughs> Lucky Duck Games has launched a brand new online shop and are offering you, my viewers, a special discount. During checkout, use promo code GAMEBOYGEEK10 and you'll save 10% on the price of your games. On the Lucky Ducks Game Shop, you'll find exciting new releases such as Tang Garden, which I recently reviewed, and the link is below, and It's a Wonderful World, as well as award-winning games like Chronicles of Crime, which is one of my favorite cooperative games of all time, and Vikings Gone Wild. So why not visit LuckyDuckGames.com now and find something new to play?